everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have a gorgeous leftover makeover for you using some of that classic retro recipe meatloaf that we made in a previous video. Today I'm going to take a slice and I'm going to make it into a Philly cheesesteak stack. So I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. started making our Philly style cheesesteak meatloaf stack and these are the things that you're going to need. I have some leftover meatloaf slices. We're going to use these in our stack and we're going to put all the things that you would think of that are on a Philly cheesesteak. Today we're going to be making ours with mozzarella cheese. Cheese Whiz isn't my preference. If you love Cheese Whiz on your cheesesteak, awesome. You should use that. And you can use Cheese Whiz in place of the mozzarella cheese if that's something you like better. We're gonna be using some sliced mushrooms, some sliced onions. I have one red bell pepper that I cut up into strips. And all of these containers are approximately one cup. This is a half of a sweet onion. This is about four large mushrooms. I have a tablespoon or so of butter and a half a teaspoon of your favorite steak seasoning. This is a marvelous leftover makeover, and you can make this in a, as many seat servings as you like. Today, we're gonna to be making it for lunch. While we wait, I wanna take a moment to say thank you for watching and being a part of our community. And please consider hitting that thumbs up button if you like what you see. And if you're new to my kitchen, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you're a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, be sure and hit the bell notification button because we don't want you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I've got my butter all melted in my pan and as you might suspect we're gonna go ahead and saute our onions our mushrooms and our peppers all together because that is what you would typically find on a Philly cheesesteak sandwich if you were to go and order one now of course this is all your personal preference um, if you don't like peppers leave them off if you don't like mushrooms leave them out we typically when we order Philly cheesesteak do not get peppers in it, but Rick's gonna be eating this today and I know he likes peppers, so I went ahead and threw them in. Red peppers are especially tasty. Um, I like all sorts of peppers, but you should adjust this to suit your particular taste. So we're gonna go ahead and let this kinda do its thing. I'm gonna go ahead before we leave and I'm gonna toss in our steak seasoning because the salt that's in there is gonna help to draw some of the moisture out of all these veggies. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it and let these steam for a minute. And then I'm gonna let them, I'm gonna take the lid off and let them kind of reduce down a bit. So we'll be back when these are ready. And we can push them off to the side because my pan is large enough and we can sear off the meatloaf. All right, I've gone ahead and finished uh, sauteing our vegetables. And well, now I'm just gonna take our meatloaf and put it in the pan right next to it. Now, I'm gonna put a lid on this so the, heat, the meatloaf will heat up with the moisture that's being generated inside the pan. If you find that you don't have enough, um, you know, goodness in the bottom of your pan, then add a little pat of butter in there just to get your meatloaf going. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this off. We're gonna flip it over after it browns on the one side. And then when we come back, we're going to build our Philly cheese meatloaf stack. And I know it's gonna be delicious. All right, our meatloaf is all nicely seared and it's heated all the way through. So now all we have to do is take some of these beautiful veggies, pop them on top as much or as little as you want. Now, this is one of those things where you're gonna eat this with a knife and a fork, or if you prefer, you can actually put this on a roll and then you can just add more to your plate, whatever's left, you can just divide that up. It'll be great. So I have some mozzarella cheese. You can uh, use provolone if you prefer, or like I said earlier in the video, if you prefer cheese whiz, then you go right ahead and go for it. I'm gonna pop the lid on here and I'm just gonna let that cheese melt. And when we come back, I'll have it all served up and I'll show you what it looks like. 
And there you have it, our Philly cheesesteak meatloaf stack, all ready to enjoy for lunch or dinner. You can make this in as many or as few servings as you like. It's up to you. Today, we're gonna to be having this for lunch, so I made two, and one of us is gonna have this one for lunch today. This is a really great option. If you, know, if you aren't really great at coming up with ways to use leftovers, other than the way you had it the first time. So you have to think outside the box. What can we use this meatloaf for? Today we're using it for this. We cooked it up like a Philly cheesesteak and we're gonna enjoy it. Are you ready to taste it? I have to. All right, let's 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 see how you like it. Um, cooking this up and giving it a good sear in the pan to heat it up is a great way to enhance the flavor. Look at that cheese pull. Oh my gosh. What do you think, babe? That was awesome. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Then get a mushroom. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That was really good. Wow. Surprised yourself, didn't you? Well, I gotta say, I am not the biggest fan of leftover meat. But this is really delicious. It's moist, it's flavorful, it has all of those flavors of a Philly cheesesteak sandwich, but you drape them over a piece of meatloaf and you're using up your leftovers. You're getting more bang for your buck. You're being creative. Your family's gonna love you, and you just presented yourself as a queen or a king in the kitchen. And that's pretty be awesome in a roll. It would be good in a roll. You can serve this on a piece of garlic bread as an open face sandwich. You can pop this in a hoagie roll or a sub roll that you've toasted, and it would be delicious. So there you have it. Another great idea for a leftover makeover using some meatloaf that you cooked up, but maybe you just wanted to do something different. I hope you gave it a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.